Wi-Fi and 5G will coexist together for now, but in maybe a decade, 5G has the potential to free enterprises from reliance on the big IT vendors like Extreme and HPE. Yeah, yeah, along with their ecosystems of integrators and IT teams. That's why industry factions are quite testy about 5G's ability to unify the often opposed cultures of LAN Enterprise and WAN Telco. Basically, they're worried about a telco-led takeover of their ecosystems. I'm taking over this territory. Ericsson's early moves in this space probably won't help ease those concerns. One of the main 5G incumbents, the Swedish vendor quietly developed a system built on 5G that can replace traditional enterprise IT. It's called Enterprise Virtual Cellular Network, or EVCN. And this end-to-end -end 5G product is currently being piloted with Ericsson's US workforce, allowing remote and mobile users to connect to corporate tools easily and securely with no VPN or public Wi-Fi faffing around. That would be great. Users access resources via 5G laptops connected to T-Mobile's national network. I saw a demo of EVCN from its architect, Andrew Pratt, at this year's MWC in Barcelona. Ericsson kept it in the invitation-only confidential part of its booth, likely to avoid backlash from Wi-Fi zealots. <laughs> But despite potential resistance, other vendors like Mavenir, Nokia, Huawei and Cisco are also developing or selling solutions that integrate private cellular networks with enterprise automation and cloud management. Join me next time when I look at how 5G is even starting to make inroads into consumer Wi-Fi markets.